this is the most basic kind of meat and potatoes understanding of how to do chords and how to uh, use them in the things that you compose or even like recreate some songs. So um, I have an image here of the chords in Song Maker and you can see that I, I kind of got it looking like a timeline and you're going to see for each column that's going up and down you're going to see uh, that I arranged uh, some colors and some notes in there. So uh, I'm just going to go through these briefly and then we'll show some examples of how to actually use them in the actual Chrome uh, Song Maker. So uh, if we look all, all the way to the left you see Roman numeral 1 we have red, yellow, and kind of the darker green there. Uh, that's kind of our home chord. It's uh, it's kind of happy sounding or whatever. It is a major chord, and that's why we give it uh, uppercase Roman numeral. Um, going on to the number two chord, that's a minor chord, so that's why it has two lowercase i's instead of uh, two uppercase. And uh, so we have orange, that lighter green, and that uh, kind of blue on the top there. So a two chord is kind of a darker sounding chord. So anytime we have a chord that's uh, lowercase with the Roman numerals, that's going to be a minor chord. Anytime you have an uppercase chord, those are going to be major chords. So, and typically major sound more happy or uplifting or whatever uh, there's lots of words you can use to describe them but kind of in that area and then minor chords are more sad or more dramatic or mysterious however you want to think about them how they sound okay so we have our one major chord we have our two minor chord we're gonna move on to our three chord we have the that outlined it's uh, you're gonna use the yellow that dark green and that pink right there and that, again, is a minor chord, so a little on the uh, sadder side of things. Moving on, we're going to go to our major four chord. And you're going to use your light green, your blue, and your red for that one. Okay? Uh, moving on to our five chord. That's going to be a, a major chord um, because it's uppercase with the Roman numerals. We got our green we got our uh, pink there, and we got our orange. After that, we have our six chord. That's a minor chord. Um, and we're going to use our blue, our red, and our yellow for that chord. And then going on, we have our seven chord. And you notice this is a lowercase seven. Um, and we have a little asterisk at the end of that uh, lowercase 7 because it isn't actually a minor chord it's a different type of chord um, we actually call that a diminished chord I don't want to get too into that but they're in general the diminished chords they kind of they sound very unstable or unresolved so um, they're not used all that much as much as the major and the minor chords but they are used um, and then we get back to our major chord, yeah? So our major one chord. So uh, that's our whole cycle. All right, so now that we have all of our chords figured out, what I did is I actually went to Google and I typed in uh, popular chord progressions. And I got some of these. I got this one right here, common chord progression. So I'm going to just take the Roman numerals that I see in red up here, and I'm going to input them. I'm going to uh, do, uh, this is our one chord. I did it uh, four times, and uh, just every other column. So that's cool. And then I'm going to do my four chord. Same thing, every other column, four times. And then I got my five chord. I'm going to do that over here. And I'll just do it four more times since we got more space here. And then I'm just going to press play. I like that. That's one chord progression. We restart. Uh, let's try this next one. One, six, four, 
five. I think I know this chord progression. One, so I'm going to do the same thing for those. Oopsie. And then I will go to our six. Oops. And then four. Four is right here. And then we'll go to five. Another one, another one down. Uh, let's go, let's try and do, which is one I like. I like this one, five, six, four. That's actually a good one. So I'm gonna clear it out and. And then I will post uh, some popular song chord progressions if you like, or you can just like literally type it into Google like that. Okay, uh, so that's it. If you have a uh, creation that you'd like to share with me, you can copy and paste it in an email to me, or you can put it in the comments below. Just copy and paste the link.